Hello, this is Joseph from Gorilla 3D. Um, before we start getting into using MySQL with PHP, we're first going to have to get to know uh, PHP or MySQL from a user standpoint. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is go to our local host, and then we're going to um, go to the XAMP or not the XAMP, the PHP MyAdmin. This is basically your area you use to create databases, modify them, and inject data. So, as you can see, uh, we have a few already set if you haven't messed with it. But the first thing we're going to do is just go ahead and create a new database. So, we're going to call this database um, My Sites. Um, don't worry about the collation, uh, just hit create. And now it says it's created and it throws you right to your database. Now the next thing you I want to do is actually create a table. A table is basically um, a table. Yeah, it holds holds columns, and the columns have data within it. So we're going to call this ta table. Since our last tutorial we did a uh, user login, let's go ahead and just name this one users. And for the number of fields. Um, Let's just say three for right now. If you don't understand why I'm putting three, you will as soon as I hit go. All right. So now we get our wow. Okay. I hit three, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. So now we get three types, and for some odd reason, it decided to put them in a horizontal fashion rather than vertical. Um. But yeah. So you get your field. This, the field is basically what you want to call each one of your columns in your table. So the first one is going to be ID. If you um, don't worry about it too much right now as for why you're going to want an ID, but just have it. And the type we're going to have it is going to be an integer. The next thing we're going to do, if we keep scrolling across from each down, we're going to change from. Um, where you see this little key over like a document, this is the primary key. Basically, it's saying that um, this is the the main key within your whole ta database table that you've created, um, and that when when it, whenever you want to search for something, you most likely want to search by their ID to return the fastest result. So again, we have field as ID, type as int, and we have the primary key toggled on. The next field that we have here is since we have um, uh, a, the username table, we're actually going to have the username. So then um, we can leave this at var char. Basically, it's like an input for HTML, and then we can limit it to say we don't want any user's name other greater than 45 characters. So then that's what the, the length and values are for. And if you are using var char, you have to enter it in some kind of length. So then we can again um, we can index this if we wanted to and basically an index is used to search faster for a specific column or columns that you have. But we're going to go ahead and leave that alone for now and then go to our last field and name this one password. And we're going to have this as bar chart as well. Let's say we don't want it any greater than 18 characters. And we can leave that stuff alone for as far as indexing and stuff. And that's it. So then we can go ahead and hit save. So now we have an ID, a username, and password within my site table. I mean, within my site database. It's in the table of users. So again, if we go ahead and click on users, it'll take us to our structure, and we're going to see. ID, username, and password. Um, so, as the basics of creating a table and columns within PHP MyAdmin, it's very, very helpful when you're just developing and you don't need have, you don't have to learn MySQL commands right away. And also, if you notice, let's say if we wanted to add an extra one, let's say uh, like a date when they logged in. Um, so again, this we can just hit, um, we can just right here where it says, if you scroll down a little bit, it says add one fields to at the end or beginning or you specify uh, where in between. Let's go ahead and leave it at the end and just click go. 
So now you can edit your, your table uh, without having to recreate it. So let's just say this is last underscore login. And instead of varchar, we're actually going to select, let's go down here so you can actually see it. You are going to select date or time or timestamp. Um, uh, I'll just go ahead and leave it at date time right now. There's an easier way to do this as far as login the last login time, but just for simplicity, I'm going to leave it as that. So date time just basically records the date, as in like 7, 12, 20, or 2006, and then the time, which is like hourly time. And then we just hit save. And if you notice, there's a little go there in it, and it keeps adding more fields if you want to. And also, this is something you really want to look at, is the SQL query. As you see, as we added that, it actually provides us with the SQL query that we're going to be using within PHP itself to gather data. So while you're doing stuff here, it's always nice to look at what uh, PHP my admin is generating as far as SQL queries. Alright, and now the last thing for this tutorial is we have our users, but we have nothing within the actual database. So now if we go ahead and, and select import, I'm not import, I'm sorry, um, actually insert. This gives you uh, fields to fill out. So again, um, it gives you our ID, which you can leave as blank, and it gives us our username. So if where you see value at, just go ahead and enter in, you know, um, Bob for the username and the password, which is next field down. We can say um, 123, and then for the date and time, you can actually use their calendar um, JavaScript, <coughs> or you can use MySQL's functions. Um, so if you go ahead and select functions, and you can select current date, current time, and now for most time, and then it has other things like Unix timestamps and stuff. So let's go ahead and select now. Um, that's the easiest way to in inject a date time into your field. And then you scroll down and select go. So now it gives you the SQL query and how to inject data into your, your, your table. Um, and yeah, so again, always look at this to get ideas on, on how to learn about SQL from examples. And then you can go ahead and just select browse here and it'll give us our first row that we have, where it says Bob, username, and the last login. And as you can see, as we left uh, ID blank, it gave us zero. So ID is going to, oh, you know what? Something I forgot. If we go back to structure, let's go ahead and edit our ID. So you can scroll across and hit edit. We set it as the primary key, but we did not auto increment. What's this? What this will do is automatically add one to the I last ID. So now if we go back to browse. And as you see now, it turned to one because that's how it's supposed to be. Starts from one. Um, if we add another username, if you want to practice this on your own, go ahead and add another. The next one is two, and I add a two to it. Um, so yeah, I might redo this tutorial. I'm not sure, but yeah, my voice is dying out. <sighs> and that's using PHP MyAdmin for creating tables and columns.